Metrolite Smart Tool LED software was designed to address the OEM's three most critical phases when developing a new LED fixture. That is the design, testing, and production phases. At the moment, the software is communicating in real time with Metrolite's LED driver, and the entire demonstration will be there for in real time. Let's go through each of the phases. We'll start with the design phase. As you can see, the design window is made out of four sections. We will now go through each of the sections. The first section is the LED array optimization. This section helps the designer by suggesting the best LED layouts that would yield the highest efficiency for Metrolite's driver. Let's see how this works with two simple examples. Let's say you want to use for your next design 20 LED modules running at 700 milliamps and 11 volts. These numbers will be taken from the spec sheet of the LEDs. You click Optimize and then the software will automatically suggest the right layout to use with Metrolite's LED driver in order to give you the highest efficiency, 92 to 94 percent typically. So this is an option where you can see that you have two serial lines having 10 modules connected in parallel. Over here you can see the current and the voltage which will be applied to this layout and also the current limit. Let's now look at a different option. This time we'll be using 120 discrete LEDs rather than modules. Again we'll use 700 milliamps and this time we'll apply 3 volts. As soon as we click optimize the software will suggest two different options and you can see the rank. The rank basically means that the higher the rank, the more efficient the layout would be using Metrolite's LED driver. So rank one is better than rank two. As you can see, the output voltage in rank one is higher than the output voltage in rank two. Higher output voltage means lower output current, which is better for the LEDs. If we look at the arrangement of the LEDs, then this is the first option for the LEDs and here we have the second option. So this section allows you to save time and helps you in designing the right layout to use with the LED driver. As soon as you're done designing the LED layout, all you need to do is choose the right layout Let's go with number one and then click apply. As soon as I click apply, both the total LED power value will change and also the current limit. Observe. The total LED power is the power assigned by the LED driver to the LED array. The current limit is one of the most important parameters because it limits the current running through the LEDs. This prevents the LEDs from being overdrived. Metrolite's LED driver offers three different types of control. The first is the analog control, the 0 to 10, where you can see a graphical representation of on the right side. These sliders allow the full control of the behavior of the analog dimming. You can control the dimming range and also control the maximum and minimum input values. The second type of control is what we call the Smart Dim or the Auto Dimming Profile. It's an automated dimming scheduler that runs off the LED driver with no additional hardware or additional cost. Let's see how it works. Let's say you have a store and the store has a parking lot and you close the store at 10 o'clock at night. Now you want to keep the lights running in the parking lot for security reasons, but you don't need the lights to run at 100%. So here's a very simple and effective way to save more energy. When you turn on the lights, the driver knows this is the beginning of the night. When you turn off the lights, this is when the driver knows this is the end of the night. And this is the midnight for the driver. Let's say you want to start the dimming two hours before the midnight. 
So we'll put in 120 minutes. And let's say we want to go all the way to 60%, meaning 60% dimmed and 40% light level. And we want to have this profile running like this for six hours. So 360 minutes. So there you have it. I simply programmed a dimming profile. And here how it works. As soon as you turn on the light during the night, the fixture will run at 100% up until two hours before midnight. Then it will automatically dim itself all the way 60% and run like this, dimmed for six hours, after which it will go up to 100%. And then when you turn off the light, obviously the fixture will turn off. This green rectangular also symbolizes the additional energy savings where you can see here it says 30 percent from employing this profile obviously if you change this profile the energy savings will change as well for example if i start earlier then the energy savings are increased or if i increase the dimming level you can save this profile and the best thing about it it runs automatically from the led driver at no additional cost and no additional hardware. The third type of control is the full digital control, either wired or wireless. This control option allows full flexibility in remote managing of individual or groups of fixtures. Up till now we've discussed the LED array optimization, the parameters, the analog dimming and the smart dim. Now let's turn on the driver. As soon as I turn on the driver, you can see the readings that are obtained in real time. These readings include the power out, the current out, the voltage out and in, the level of analog dimming, the level of digital dimming, the adverse of the driver, the temperature of the driver, the maximum temperature that this driver has reached, the status of the driver alarms, if there's any alarm or any problem with the driver, it will be uh, notified here. And the number of times that this driver was turned on. All this information is running in real time. And a very uh, important option is for you to see graphs in real time of important information. For example, the power of the driver. Let's dim the driver to 50%, for example, and see what happens. you can see that the digital dimming value has changed to 50% and we'll also see how the power drops by 50%. All of this is in real time. Let's have a look at the uh, power factor correction, for example. And you can save this information for later on analysis. You can export it to Excel and work with these graphs. The graphs also include the voltage out, the current, the temperature, and many more that we'll add in the next version. Once you're done with the design phase, you can create what we call a configuration file that holds all the parameters as you set them and can be later on sent to the production to be used to reprogram more drivers. Once you're done designing your LED fixture and applying the right parameters to the LED driver, you would want to test the new fixture. These tests would include functional and environmental tests. The testing phase is meant to give you a simple and quick way to set up an automatic test plan. Let's turn on the fixture, have it run for 30 minutes, then dim the lights to 50%, wait additional 30 minutes, increase the light level to 70%, wait additional 30 minutes, turn on the fixture, wait additional 30 minutes, and then repeat the entire process three times. And there you have it, a very simple and quick way to create a test plan. This plan can be run at any time. So for example, you can leave it running automatically at six o'clock at night. And when you come back the day after, all the information will be downloaded and saved for later on analysis. All the graphs, all the information that we've seen previously will be saved.
for later on analysis. Once you're done designing your LED fixture and testing it, the configuration file that you created will be sent to production. In the production phase, the configuration file will be used to reprogram any Metrolite LED driver into the newly designed parameters. Once the driver or multiple drivers are reconfigured, the printer will print out the new sticker representing the new product. You place the sticker on the driver and there you have it. Metrolite's programmable driver that perfectly fits your design.